September 6th, 2020, the NFL preview show. Going to talk about every single NFL team tonight. Going to go over the NFC, who I like to win the NFC, who I like to win the AFC, all the divisions, Super Bowl odds. Going to be joined by Jake, my buddy Jake, who's been coming on my podcast for the last couple of years. Big Arizona State guy. Going to bring him on here in a second. First things first, just want to mention if you guys are interested in getting on my service this year during the football season, my phone number, you can text only 702 757 7376. 702 757 7376. We're going to get right into this. I'm going to check the odds right now. I think Jake's ready. He says he's ready. Let me uh, get him on here real quick. All right, I'm going to get Jake on the line right now, and we're going to go over the AFC East. Jake, are you there? Yes, I am. What's going on, man? It's been a long time. How you been? Doing great, man. I'm just excited about the new NFL season. Just excited in general for football. we get started. Yeah, definitely. So we're going to talk about the Buffalo Bills first. Uh, we're going to talk about the AFC East division. Buffalo Bills to win the AFC plus 115, New England Patriots plus 140, Jets plus 800, and the Dolphins plus 700. Uh, we're going to go over the Buffalo Bills. Do you have anything? I figure we talk about uh, each team for maybe a couple minutes each uh, each team here. If you have anything on the Buffalo Bills, let us know. Um, Buffalo defensively, they were rated in the top four or five the league last year. I think they're going to be the same way defensively. And I think with the addition offensively of uh, Singletary, they're running back. They're going to be a threat offensively because they also picked up Stephon Diggs from the Vikings as well to add to Cole Beasley the receiving court. Yeah, definitely. I see uh, the Buffalo Bills improved. The Patriots downgrading because of the quarterback situation. The Bills, they were up there uh, competing with the Patriots last year for sure. Um, do you see this team taking the division this year? You know what? I'm, I'm going to make a strong prediction. I really think Buffalo's got what it takes. If they stay away from injuries and stuff, Buffalo offensively, I think it's scoring up points. They're definitely great defensively. I think Buffalo can take that division. Stephon Diggs, wide receiver, coming over. Uh, he was on the Vikings, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. He put up big numbers with the Vikings. Uh, he made some incredible catches in the playoffs as well for the Vikings. So he's bringing his playoff experience over to the Buffalo Bills. So I think that will help the Bills a lot. Yeah, the Bills are favored to win this division. I really, uh, I'm not going to pick the Bills to win this division. I'm going to, I'll tell you who I like next. But you think the Bills could take this division? I do think the Bills will take this division. All right, sounds good. Now the next team we're going to talk about is the Jets, the New York Jets. Uh, Sam Darnold. Le'Veon Bell, uh, the Jets right now to win the division, eight to one. What do you? What are the chances the Jets come out on top of this division? I don't think it's very good at all. I, I just don't think that Sam Darnold's consistent enough. Uh, he showed last year that he was injury prone as well during the course of the season. Le'Veon Bell's a very quality running back. I mean, he's put a lot of miles on those legs, but I think he's still a quality running back. Agreed. But I think on the outside, I don't think they have that many threats at receiving besides maybe Crowder that can stretch you out. You know, they lost Robbie Anderson. He went to the Carolina Panthers, so they're not, I don't think the Jets are much of a threat in the East at all. Yeah, I don't think so either. I think uh, the Jets are going to be down there with the Dolphins in this division. We're going to talk about the Dolphins next. Um, So yeah, I'm going to say the Jets probably, I would say maybe four to six wins. What do you give them? I give the Jets five and eleven. Five and eleven. They go five wins, eleven losses. I, I think they'll, they'll probably upset a team or two, but I don't see them threatening anybody in that division. At least not yet. Yeah, at least we agree on that. With the Jets, are not going to do nothing. What about the Dolphins? Now, the Dolphins got Tua, which I, I love Tua. He, I think he would have been one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever come out of college if he didn't wasn't so injury prone. Uh, but he's get he gets picked up. Uh, I don't believe Fitzpatrick is on the roster anymore, is he? I didn't look. Um, I'm not for sure on Fitzpatrick, but even if they do have Fitzpatrick, I just don't think the Dolphins are ready for the next level yet. 
Oh, they yeah. They have, uh, they got a new tight end now. His name's Yetsky or Yetsky. He's supposed to be pretty good. And they have Devontae Parker on the outside. They have a couple of good friends. And then they have a, uh, they got, uh, they got a guy from the uh, 49ers, Matt Breida. Yeah. And you're... they also picked up Howard from the Bears. Yeah, definitely. You're talking about Getsky's, uh, I believe he's a tight end, right? Yeah, he's supposed to be really good. Yeah, but the problem with the Dolphins is they don't have a defensive line, they don't have a defense, and their offensive line is not going to be able to protect Tua. He's most likely going to get injured again. That's probably what's going to happen. That's what I, I think. I agree. I put them down there with the Jets. I don't see them get much past four or five wins, honestly. <laughs> At least not this year. They're just, I don't think they have the weapons, especially defensively, like you were saying. Their secondary always gets beat up during the course of the season. Yep. Man, I don't think they have enough. Yeah, I just don't think they can protect Tua, and uh, this AFC division is going to be tough to beat out the Bills and the Patriots. Let's talk about the Patriots for a second. Uh, I'm high on the Patriots this year. I'm, I've always been high on Bill Belichick. I know you got Cam Newton coming in. I think Cam, they they named Cam Newton as a starter, or as a, uh, they obviously as a starter, but they named him as a captain. And I don't think that's ever uh, they've ever done that so quick. Uh, did you hear about that one? I did. Yeah. When Cam plays ball, he plays ball. Like, he, he can be a leader. And then there's times where Cam just, he loses the game for his team. But if it's the Cam that I remember his early years in Carolina that got him to a Super Bowl, yeah. New England could definitely be a contender in the AFC East. And not only in the AFC East, but in the AFC in general. I think they got enough offensively. They still got Edelman and James White at running back. I think they, they still got a good offensive line. And their defense is top 10 almost every year, so... Their defense. I can see New being a threat. Yeah, their defense is. Uh, I like their defense. Gilmore, McCordy, Hightower. Uh, you know, I like Edelman. I like. I like Cam Newton coming in. You know, you got Belichick. I think the offense is pretty good and the defense is pretty good. I think uh, the the Patriots are going to take the East. I'm going to take them plus 140. So you would agree that you you like the Bills though, right? I. You know, it's good and all depends. Like. I think it's going to actually come down this year to the head-to-head matchups when they play each other, Chris. I, I can honestly see the AFC East come down the last two weeks of the season. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to go with the Patriots plus 140 in this division, and you're going to go with the Buffalo Bills plus 115, or are you just not going to go with anybody? I, honestly, I'm not going to go with anybody because <laughs> I think it's a toss up between the Bills and the Patriots. Okay, but we, we can both agree that the Jets and the Dolphins are not going to do anything. No, I don't, I don't see them getting any. Get the- All right, Jake, we're moving on to the AFC North division. Baltimore Ravens minus 180 to win the North. You got the Steelers plus 4-1, uh, to one, the Browns 5-1, to one, and the Bengals 20-1. to one. We're going to talk about the Cleveland Browns first. Uh, do you have anything to say about the Cleveland Browns? Yeah, they should be a judge about offensively with all the guys that they have. Um, Odell Beckham, Jarvis Landry is receiving. And receiving, they have Kareem Hunt and Nick, Nick Chubb in the backfield with uh, Baker Mayfield. There is no excuse why this team shouldn't get nine or ten wins this year, Chris. They're, they're very solid on the first time to the ball. They have a big guy named uh, Miles Garrett that got in trouble with the Steelers game last year. He's a beast. It's hard to contain back there. I think the Cleveland Browns are going to definitely be a contender in AFC North. Yeah, I don't think Miles Garrett should be playing in the league, to be honest with you. Because if he would have cracked that no, guy, if he would have cracked his skull, it would have been a whole different story. Because he hit him right on the dome. Yeah, there's no reason for that, Chris, on any level. Like, I don't condone that at all. I just think that, you know, there, there should be discipline for that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. I like Nick Chubb. I, I think he's a great running back. Um, they got Kareem Hunt on the roster. They got Odell Beckham Jr., Jarvis Landry. They got talent. The only problem I can see is they're in a tough division. Um, you know, the Ravens are in this division, so that's going to make it tough. The Steelers are still the Steelers. Um, when you, you know, Roethlisberger is still playing. Uh, Browns plus, uh, what are they, 5-1 to one to win the... AFC North. What do you think about that one? Do you think they have a shot at winning this division? They do, but bottom line, they're not winning that division with Baltimore and Pittsburgh in that division. Exactly. That's how I, I feel, too. They have them. I'll have them. I'm going to say third in that division. 
Do yeah, what? But I'm going to add something here. They do have two good, talented tight ends. David uh, Juku and uh, they picked up some guy in the front of Austin Hooper. Very good. Is it hey uh, Jake? Um, hold on. All right, so we got Jake on a new line here, and we can hear him a lot better now. Jake, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, so that's a lot better. So the Browns definitely at five to one to win the division. I'm not picking them. I say seven and nine, eight and eight, some kind of number like that. And you probably would agree with that. I do agree with that. I just think Baker Mayfield's too inconsistent still. He, he hasn't shown me that he's he's up for the next level of making, uh, taking them to the wild card or playoff round. So I keep the Browns down there at 8-8. Eight eight. They have a nice defense, and I think they'll, they have enough weapons offensively where they're going to be in a lot of games, and they could actually sneak up and possibly get a wild card if they play to their potential offensively. Yeah, exactly, but... They're in the wrong division, obviously. They got too many. There's too many good teams in this division, uh, like the Steelers. We're talking about the Steelers now. Ben Roethlisberger coming back. Uh, I think he's been in the league for like 15 or 16 years, right? He's been there for a while. Got a, a Super Bowl ring. Uh, he comes back, and you got Juju Smith-Schuster, uh, which is one of my favorite wide receivers. Um, the, who else do they? They don't really have much on the wide receiver core, though, other than him. Johnson. Johnson's there. I think he's a rookie or their second year, and he's got a lot of talent. They're expecting him to emerge as the second receiver. Deontay Johnson, right? Yeah. yeah, Deontay Johnson. Yeah, he's out of Toledo, yep. Okay, so yeah, I think uh, the Steelers' defense is pretty solid, too. Uh, I was looking over their roster earlier. I think this is going to be a solid team, to be honest with you. I think they can make some noise this year in the AFC to be... Just uh, from I what I see. DJ Watt. Yeah, uh, DJ definitely. Watt's a great linebacker definitely. on that side of the ball. They they have some young guys. The Steelers are building up their defense before, like they did back in the old days. They they look like a team that can contend in the North as long as they stay healthy because they're not deep at every position. But I think if they stay healthy, the Steelers can contend with the Ravens. In that yeah, division. yeah, and that pickup they got from the Dolphins last year, Fitzpatrick, definitely a good addition to the defense. Uh, he's going to be playing uh, full season with them this year. As long as Roethlisberger stays healthy, the, I think the Steelers are going to be in it. They're going to have a winning record. They could win 10 games. Uh, right now, they're 4-1 to one to win the division. But we both got to agree that they're, they're playing in the division with the Ravens, and we know what the Ravens can do. So that's going to be hard to win right, that division. I mean, I mean they Back in the day, the Steelers were deep offensively, and they, they had four or five receivers they could bring in. But right now, they don't have a... You know, aside Schuster, they don't have a really great receiver to go with them, and they'll probably double Schuster. Oh, yeah. You know, and some other guys are going to have to step up. Yep. But they got James Conner. Uh, yeah. James Conner's a really solid running back for them. Yep, he played at Pittsburgh. Yep, I remember James Conner had cancer, and uh, he took over for Le'Veon Bell after Bell decided that money's more important than playing football. So. Correct. Le'Veon... I mean, Le'Veon, I think Mel's probably almost the end of his career. I don't think he's going to have that great of a season, honestly. Exactly. Um, Bengals, don't really have much to say about them. Uh, Joe Burrow's coming in. Mixon, A.J. Green, some veterans there. Um, I say they win probably four to six games. I don't think the Bengals are going to really do anything. In, what, do you have anything to say about the Bengals? I like I like the quarterback pick up there that they got. I mean, it's going to take a while to build around him. They got a, a veteran receiver in AJ Green, and they got a a, a young receiver in Boyd. Yeah. I think they can uh, they can definitely they'll definitely be in some games they're probably not supposed to, but I just don't think they'll be able to finish them out because they just don't have much of defense. Yeah, exactly. There's they have no defense from what I can see. That's why I said three to five wins. I don't think that. I don't even think they'll get to three wins, to be honest with you. I think they're going to be one of the worst teams in the NFL, to be honest. Uh, moving on to the Ravens. Ravens minus 180 to win the division. I think this is the most obvious division pick that I can see. The Ravens are stacked on offense. The Ravens are stacked on defense. They're favored to win the Super Bowl. What do you think? The only other team that's not more favored than them is the Chiefs. And that's going to be a good matchup. I think they play like week three on Monday Night Football. That's going to be a hell of a game. Yeah, that's that's a fantastic game there. And then just to round out their their offense, this is totally, of course, you know Lamar Jackson runs that team right now, and he's probably one of the better quarterbacks I've seen in years. 
Yep. As a dual threat quarterback, he can run. He's very smart in the pocket. He makes really smart decisions. Mm-hmm. I just think they're going to be hard to beat offensively because they can put up so many points. Yep. And their defense has gotten better as well. Definitely. Uh, who does uh, Lamar Jackson remind you of? I know you know who I'm thinking. Old school. Back in the day. One of the best scrambling quarterbacks to ever play. Virginia Tech. And he used to Virginia Tech, Michael Vick. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, he reminds me a lot of Vick. Back before he, Vick did all that dog, dog stuff, you know. And, you know, just to, just to run you down what they got offensively, they, they drafted J.K. Dobbins out of Ohio State. And I think he's going to be a big part of their offense eventually. But yep. Mark Ingram, they got Mark Ingram, J.K. Dobbins. Yeah, they do. They got three good running back, Gus Edwards. On they defense, they got the on defense back. they picked up Earl Thomas too. Not to they mention, did, but I'm hearing rumors that he might go to the Cowboys. Yeah, I've been hearing some rumors too. Yeah, but we'll have to wait and see on that. They got the best field goal kicker to ever play. Um, they got they got offense and defense, man. They they're just stacked. I'm gonna take them to win this division, running away. The Steelers will give them a game. If if Roethlisberger can stay healthy, then they have a chance. But I think the Ravens definitely win this division minus 180. What do you think? Easy. It's I have no doubt that the Ravens win this division. If they don't win this division, there's there's something to something bad that happened to either Lamar Jackson or a couple of their receivers or running back. Exactly. Yeah, injuries could happen, but I'm not. I'm not, I don't. I think he'll be healthy. He's Brown on the outside. Yeah. Will Sneed. They got some really good receivers. Miles Boykin. Um, they're really good on the outside. Good offensive line. They gave him a lot of uh, DJ Fluker and Orlando Brown Jr. Great offensive linemen. Oh yeah, and they got Campbell too. Wasn't Campbell? Uh, Campbell. Yeah, it wasn't Campbell Arizona State. Calais Campbell, no, he didn't go to ASU. I know he was. Oh, yeah, you know what? I think he went to Miami. That's right. I'm thinking of uh, I'm thinking of someone else that was on the Ravens uh, that went to Arizona State. Anyways, uh, I'm picking the – you know who I'm talking about? Suggs. Yeah, I do. I'm talking about Suggs. Real Suggs, he's a beast. Yeah, I don't think he's in the game anymore, is he? No. I didn't and think so. And they got Old Taylor and all those guys on defense. Yeah, so I'm taking the Ravens, you're taking the Ravens, I think we both agree. Ravens, AFC North winner. Easy. Moving on to the AFC West, Kansas City Chiefs minus 350 to win the division. Broncos 10-1, to Chargers 7-1, to Raiders, Las Vegas Raiders 11-1. to uh, Let's talk about the Broncos first. What do you think about Locke starting for the Broncos? He's, I think eventually he's going to be good. I just think he's going to need another year of fine-tuning. He's got some weapons now on the outside. Cherry Judy, a rookie from Alabama, yep. and Courtney Sutton. They're going to be pretty loaded offensively. And then that new tight end, uh, uh, Fan, he's very good. So they're going to be uh, Melvin Gordon, too. Yeah, I saw. Over. Melvin Gordon, so the I... third from the Chargers, yeah. And I like Phillip Lindsay, too. He's, a, he's definitely a good running back. Denver could possibly win... Nine, ten games possibly in that division. Yeah, but just like uh, the other teams we were talking about, they're playing in the wrong division because you got the Chiefs in this division. I'm not saying the Chargers or the Raiders are going to do anything either. Um, the Broncos are possibly the second best team in this division, in my opinion, too. Their defense could step up, but the problem is Locke, is he going to be protected? Do, do they have a good offensive line? I don't think so. I mean, what do you think? No, their offensive line's not as good as it used to be. I remember back a few years back, they always had good offensive lines, but now their their offensive line's not very good. Exactly. So they're going to get lock. And, um, I don't see the Broncos doing much. I would say 7-9, and 8-8 nine, eight and eight probably, maybe even less than that. So what what's your prediction on them? You said possibly 8-9 wins? I'm going to go 9-7 and seven on them. I think they'll, they'll get the 9 wins. Okay, moving on to the San Diego Chargers or the L.A. Chargers, seven to one. Uh, so Tyrod Taylor is going to be the quarterback, right? Did they already announce that? I think he's 
going to start with Herbert backing him up, but I, you, they got good receivers on the outside with Williams and Keenan Allen. Yes, um, that's all they got. That, the running back's very good. They're solid at the running back position. You like Eckler? Um, I can't think of his name. Eckler, yeah. yeah. Eckler's very small. Yeah, but and, the Chargers... Uh, they got a good defense. You think so? Um, Ingram at linebacker and then Bosa at defensive end. The younger Bosa. Yeah. They're yeah. pretty good back there. Perryman, line, middle linebacker. Yeah, I... I don't really, I don't think this team's going to do anything, honestly, after Phillip Rivers is gone. I mean, they couldn't do nothing with Phillip Rivers. You think they're going to do something with Tyrod Taylor? I don't, I don't. Be seven and nine with the yeah, seven and nine. Game. Yeah, exactly. And, and then moving on to the Las Vegas Raiders, same thing. They're pretty much mediocre, just like the Broncos and the Chargers. I think, uh, I, do you have anything to say about the Raiders? I like their tight end, Walker. And then their new receiver they got from Alabama, Henry Woods. So do you like their other tight end that they have? Yeah, Walker's good. No, don't they have uh, Jason Witten? Yeah, they got Witten and Walker. They're going to have two really good tight ends there. Jason Witten, man, he just doesn't want to retire, does he? Nah, he's getting up there. He had a great he had a great career with Dallas, but he's pretty much, I think his career is pretty much over now. But yeah. I think the Raiders just don't have much defensively, Chris. They're... They're pretty young defensively, and I don't think they they have much on the defensive side. I think they'll score some points with Carr back there, and they got Jacobs as their running back. Us Jacobs, he's really good. Yeah, Jacobs is a but good I running back. I agree. They won't. They'll be like the Chargers win six, seven games. I think. Yeah, they're not going to do much, man. I don't. I don't like their defense. I don't. Derek Carr is probably going to. I think Mariota will be starting halfway through the season. Nelson Aguilar coming over from the Eagles. He can't catch the ball. We already know that. Chucky's going to be pulling his hair out throughout the whole season, especially when they play the Chiefs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so uh, do we have to say anything about the Chiefs? I think uh, we already know how good they are. Um, you know, I have one concern about the Chiefs. Now, it didn't. It never came up because they won the Super Bowl, but I just don't think they – they have enough defensively just to get them by, yep. but I don't think they're Super Bowl kind of the defensive side of the ball. But hell, I mean, offensively, you're talking now. They got Clyde edwards hilaire rookie from LSU, is their starting running back now. Yeah, and then Tyreek Hill, Kelsey is their tight end. Um, Hardman is a receiver. Um, there's another guy they got that's really good on the outside too. Sammy Watkins. Walking, Sammy Watkins. Yeah. Man, they're they're loaded offensively. I don't I don't see anybody stopping their offense. Yeah, but yeah, you like you said their defense is suspect. But you know what? When they can score thirty, forty points at any time with that quarterback, the best quarterback in football, it's hard to pick against this team because they'll outscore you. If they give up thirty, they'll score forty, you know what I mean? So I'm going with the Chiefs minus three fifty to win the division. I think you're probably going the same way, right? Twelve and four. Yeah, twelve and four, thirteen. Yeah, thirteen and three. Some, I looked at their schedule earlier. Yeah, they're gonna. I just can't wait for the Ravens and the uh, Chiefs to play each other. I think that's gonna be the AFC title game. We'll get to that here in a little while, but uh, let's move on to the next division. All right, moving on to the AFC division, South division, AFC South division. The Colts plus one thirty-five to win the division. The Titans plus one seventy-five. Texans three to one, and the Jaguars twenty to one. Uh, first things first, let's get through the Jaguars. Uh, Minshew comes in. He's supposed to be uh, the next great quarterback. He did good, and then he just fell apart the last part of the season. Uh, is this quarterback going to come in and do anything good this year? I think he'll do all right, but they're in a tough division. I just don't see them being much of a threat. They still have decent players defensively, Yeah. but they don't have much offensively besides... Uh, well, they have. I think they have Dede Westbrook. I think as a receiver, and DJ Chalk. He's, DJ Chalk's a very good receiver, but uh, they don't have much in the running game after losing Fournette. And uh, they don't have much on the defensive end either. They don't. This team's going to be. They lost Calais Campbell. Yeah, they're going to be uh, the dog shit team of the league, I believe. Them and the Dolphins are the two teams that I think are going to be the worst two teams in football in the AFC, at least. Um, Matter of fact, Chris, I think the Jaguars. They might not even win four games. <laughs> right. Yeah, the uh, Josh Dobbs 
might be uh, starting quarterback there a couple weeks in. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we'll skip the Jaguars twenty to one. I don't think they have a chance. Uh, let's move on to the Texans. What do you think about the Texans, man? They got a good offense. I like this team. I like this offense. Uh, yes, Deshaun Watson's one of my favorite quarterbacks in the league. I think his four-year, hundred sixty million dollar deal. I think he's earned it. And they got a great running back. If he can stay healthy, David Johnson's going to be a threat. Um, yeah, Duke Johnson. He was good down here in Arizona until he got hurt. Yeah, there's Duke Johnson and David Johnson, right? Yeah, they got both Johnsons, and then they got uh, Willem Fuller, the third or the second. is a receiver, Brandon Cooks, that came yeah. over from the Rams. Kenny Stills coming over um, from the Titans. Randall yeah, Cobb. Dude. Randall Cobb coming over from the Cowboys, huh? Dave Cobb's still a good possession receiver. I still like Cobb in this slot. Yeah, yeah I do too. Like I he's think... good at bat- catching those little 8 to 10 yard passes. Yep, exactly. And then you got, of course, um, the defense will be much improved also, I think. What do you think about that? Yeah, I, I like their defense. Um, their defense keeps them in games. Well, um, we'll, we'll, definitely, to... huh? we'll definitely learn a lot uh, week uh, this Thursday coming up when they uh, have to go to Kansas City. We're going to learn a lot about this team for sure. I agree with you. I just I think... You know, that division's going to be so tough. I, it is. Besides Jacksonville, that division's a tough division. I'm going to say with the Texans, it's hard to say with that division, but I'm going to say 10-6, and 11-5 and five with the Texans. Yeah, I have them at 8-8, uh, I have them at 9-7. Eight and eight, nine and seven. Because, Just because of the okay. division they're playing in, the Titans are pretty strong, and the Colts are pretty strong. We're going to move on to the Titans right now, plus 175 to win that division. Um... I think Tannehill is a great fit in Tennessee. I think I think it's smart. They picked the smart. They made a good decision picking him over Mariota because I didn't think Mariota was doing much. And he obviously goes to Las Vegas. You got Tannehill who played really good last year. Took this team. Beat the Patriots. Who else did they beat? They beat the Ravens, right? They beat the Ravens. They went into Baltimore and beat the living car out of the Ravens. And they got one of the... They got one of the best running backs in the league. I think Henry's one of the best power running backs in the league for sure. Derrick Henry's a beast, man. I, I watched him play at Alabama. You guys feel the like and he's you can't bring him down with arm tackles. Yeah. And that's exactly. right. That's how Tennessee beats you. They beat you with the running game and they beat you with play action pass and then they beat you with their defense. Exactly. Their defense made a lot of opportunistic turnovers last year that helped them win games. Like they got interceptions and fumbles at crucial times. So I see them at like ten and six, eleven and five. Yeah, exactly. I could see the Titans going like nine and seven, ten and six, also competing for a division championship. Um, and then next, you got the Colts bringing in Rivers, and I'm high on the, I'm really high on the Colts, and I think Rivers will come in and click with uh, what's his name, uh, the wide receiver, Hilton, T. Y. Hilton. T.Y. Hilton, if he stays healthy, he's one of the best in the league. One of the fastest in the league, too, for sure. Um, I like the offense. I like the offensive line for the Colts. I think Phillip Rivers will be protected better than he was when he was with the uh, Chargers, for sure. The defense for the Colts is much improved, also. Um, I think the Colts are going to. I think the Colts are going to win the division. What do you think about that? I do. They got a good backup too. Brissett's a really good. And yeah. look at their running backs, how deep they are. They have Nahum Hines, Marlon Mack, Jonathan Taylor, a rookie from Wisconsin, which I think will get some playing time. Yeah, definitely. And they got a new receiver named uh, Paris Campbell, who's supposed to be really good. And then their their tight ends are decent, Jack Doyle and Trey Burton. Yeah. And then on the defensive uh, defensive side of the ball, the Forrest Buckner, they got him from the 49ers. Yeah, exactly. Malik Hooker, a guy, another guy that I like, free safety. Uh, they they got some good players on defense for sure, and their offense is uh, pretty good. I'm going Colts to win the division, and you, who are you going with? Colts, te- Titans, Texans, or Jaguars? Uh, I like the Colts to win that division. Actually, at eleven and five. I agree. I think eleven and five, ten and six, eleven and five will get the job done. I think the Colts win that division. Also, move on here. All right, so we went over all four divisions in the AFC. I'm going to give out my two picks to win the Super Bowl in the AFC, and so is Jake. Jake, do you want to go first and tell me who your two teams are that you think could possibly win the Super Bowl this year, represent the AFC? Ravens and Chiefs. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm right there with you. If you had to pick two others, long shots, who's the two who's the two other ones? Patriots and Colts. <sighs> I guess we're thinking the same. I'm saying Patriots and Colts or Patriots and Steelers. Yeah, I mean the AFC's not that strong aside the Ravens and Chiefs if you look at it that way. Who wins the who wins the AFC championship? I'm gonna go Ravens this year. I'm gonna go Ravens too. I'm gonna go Ravens with you. I think it's gonna be the Ravens in the Super Bowl. It's uh, I think uh, we got two solid picks here, Chiefs and Ravens though. So we'll move on to the NFC now. So we're picking uh, the Chiefs and the Ravens, and we're picking the Ravens to win the AFC Championship. I'm gonna give you the odds to that right now. All right, so. The Baltimore Ravens to win the AFC three to one, or plus three thirty-seven, and then the Chiefs obviously the favorite plus three seventeen, and then you got the Patriots eleven to one, Steelers eleven to one, Bills eleven to one, Colts eleven to one, Titans thirteen to one. So yeah, we're going with the Ravens to win the AFC, and then the Ravens to win the Super Bowl if they do, because uh, we both have them going to the Super Bowl. Uh, the Ravens to win the Super Bowl right now. Current odds, seven to one. So you bet a hundred dollars, you win seven hundred. Do you think the Ravens have a chance to win the Super Bowl? I think so. They have a legitimate shot to win the Super Bowl as long as they stay healthy and they don't take anybody lightly like they did against the Titans last year. I think this year. Oh, they're not gonna let the Titans beat them again. They're not gonna let anybody come in their house and beat them this year. Not even the Chiefs. I think they'll play if they can get home field throughout. I think they're going to the Super Bowl. Jackson, he's got bad blood in his mouth yep. last year. Yep. He, Lamar Jackson will get a couple Super Bowls in the next five, ten years for sure. All right, we're going to do oh, a, NFC West. What, Jake? That's a great division this year. I'm telling you right now, everybody's improved in that division. Oh, yeah, I think I have everybody in that division. Uh, yeah, that's going to be yeah much improved, yeah, for sure. All the teams in this division right now, we're going to talk about the San Francisco 49ers, Jimmy G. Uh, you think the 49ers, I think the 49ers have a shot at going back to the Super Bowl this year, but the NFC is going to be tough. This division is going to be tough. Are they going to be able to beat the Seahawks uh, or get by the Seahawks? I think Seahawks are going to be pretty tough. So uh, the 49ers to win the division, plus 110. Seahawks, 2-1. to one. Rams, 5-1. to one. Cardinals, 7-1. to one. It's going to be a, a pretty good division to keep an eye on. Um... What do you have to say about the 49ers? Uh, a lot of good things. Um, starts out with their running game with Raheem Moister, uh, Moser, sorry, and T- Tavion Coleman. They have a good uh, running game. And then, they're, of course, their tight end's one of the top two or three in the league, with, uh, Kittle. Oh, yeah, he's one he's of the best. Group. Yeah. Then they have a great defense. I mean, Bosa, Richard Sherman. I mean, they're loaded on the defensive yeah. side of the ball. Yeah, exactly. Bosa and Richard Sherman, that's right there. There's two pro bowlers right there on defense. And you got... All right, so uh, two wide receivers I lo- I like on this team, Samuel and Pettis. Pettis, obviously, from Washington, still a young player, but very talented. Uh, I think uh, 49ers have a really good offense, and their defense is pretty stacked. Um, at plus, at minus one ten, or what is it, plus 110 to win the division, this team definitely could come out of the NFC West. What do you think? Yeah, I like that other guy, too, that they have at, uh, as the rookie. Brandon Ayuk got it from ASU. He's going to be a good physical receiver once he's healthy. You like everybody They're from Arizona good. State. <laughs> they have a good offensive line, too. Glenchy, Trent Williams, those guys, are good on the offensive side. And then their defense with Eric Armstead, Bosa, D. Ford, Stinkin', their J.B. on Kenlaw, they're going to be loaded on their defensive line. Yeah, exactly, and uh, Jimmy G, one of the best quarterbacks in the league. 49ers could get back to the Super Bowl. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Seahawks, 2-1 to one to win the division. This team, I, I believe this team is loaded. I think Russell Wilson's playing the best quarterbacking he could play, and I think he's going to, I think he's uh, going to do, I think he's going to have a career season this year. He's just clicking with this team, and I, I think that the Seahawks are going to do something this year. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, uh, what's your record prediction for the 49ers? 
I have the 49ers at 11 and 5. And then I also have the Seahawks at 11 and 5. I think I actually have the Seahawks winning this division to be honest with you. Just because of the quarterback play of Wilson, I think he's going to be I think he's just going to tear it up this year. He's just a, he's just an all-around hell of a good player and the Seahawks they're stacked. They really are. I looked at the division, I looked at the roster and the schedule and everything and I think the Seahawks are going to take this division this year. But yeah, eleven and five or twelve and four. What do you think? I have the 49ers regressing to ten and six, and the Seahawks to eleven and five. Yep. And I'll tell you the reason why. I think I think Chris Carson's going to play out of his mind. The running back for them, he's really underrated, and he's a very good, solid running back. Yeah. And they have some good receivers. They have Lockett and DJ Metcalf, and those guys are young receivers, talented yeah. too. Yeah, exactly. And their defense, man, you got Bobby Wagner. You got KJ Wright, Bobby Wagner. You're you're pretty much stacked on the defense. Griffin, Dunbar, Flowers. I like the I like the defense for this team and I, I do like the offense and uh like I said, I'm taking the Seahawks to win this division. Oh my. I'm I think sure. so the Rams. I wanna mention the Rams. The Rams should have won the Super Bowl a couple of years ago. They had so much talent. Uh, they lost a lot of players, as you know. Clay Matthews is not even on the defense nowhere. I think he's on. Uh, what is he? A free agent now? Yeah. I do like Ramsey. You know their quarterback. Um, there's a lot of players on this team that I do respect and I like, but I just don't think Goff has what it takes anymore. He he came in the league. You're thinking he was coming out of Cal, uh, going to be like an Aaron Rodgers type. What do you think? Do you think he still got it, or do you think he's falling apart? It's just, it's all going to p- depend on his offensive line. Honestly, they, he doesn't have one. They've gotten older in their offensive line, yeah. and I think they don't have Todd Gurley no more. I mean, you got to have a solid running back. Although I'll say DJ Henderson's pretty decent, and there's another guy I can't think of. Maybe you can. There's another solid back that they have that's going to play a little bit this year. But they have a good receiving core: Cooper Cup, Robert Woods. Yeah, but that, you know, he's no Julio Jones or anything like that. You know what I mean? Uh, Cooper Cup is your number one receiver. I, I don't know. Man. I think the Rams are going to not be the same team that, has, that they've been the last couple of years, especially when they got the Seahawks and the 49ers in that division. I think the Rams probably finished the season 7-9, and 8-8. Eight and eight. I'll say 7-9 with them. Yeah, I looked over the their schedule. And uh, I'm going to say 7-9. Uh, Cardinals seven to one. You know we've lived in Arizona a long time. Uh, I'm not a Cardinals fan. I know you're not a Cardinals fan. Um, I root for them sometimes. Sometimes I, you know, I want them to win because I'm I live in Arizona. But uh, what do you think about the Cardinals and what do you think about the midget? <laughs> I love Kyler Murray, man. Like I'm, he's seen many of the games last year. He made some big time plays. They got Kenyon Drake starting at running back. He's solid, and then the receiving course gotten pretty good now they got DeAndre Hopkins from the Texans yeah they do still the veteran Fitzgerald yeah he's still can catch Christian Kirk's a good receiver too yeah he is they do got some good wide receivers I'll give them that Fitzpatrick's still in there it's crazy or Fitzgerald I Fitzgerald I don't know if their defense has enough weapons defensively to, for them to uh I know since Patrick Peterson I'm not not very familiar. Jordan Hicks is a good player, linebacker, but I can see them actually going nine and seven. Chris, I can see them having a winning season this year and being improved. Is Chandler Jones still on the team? Still is. Yeah, I thought so. I, yeah, I was looking over their schedule. I mean, with the Seahawks and the Forty ers in that division, I don't really look too much because you know the Rams too. The car, you think the Cardinals can go nine and seven, huh? Absolutely, I think they got a good shot to go nine and seven. Yeah, that quarterback from Oklahoma, man, he is pretty good. He was good in college, and he's quick, and he's small. Um, but I just think they're in the wrong division. But, yeah, 9-7, and seven, I don't think he's going to get the job done. I have them at 7-9 and nine or 8-8. Eight and eight. Um, But we'll have to see. Maybe they'll surprise everybody and uh, go into San Francisco and go into Seattle. They, they, they do own the Seattle Seahawks, I'll tell you that. They always go into Seattle and beat them. Yeah, they do, almost every year, too. Yeah, and usually, their... usually the game's on Thursday night football too. So I'm hoping to see improvement in the Cardinals. They're my second team, so I'd, it'd be nice to see them uh, 
do something for a change. Right. All right, so who do you have winning this division, the NFC West? Uh, Seattle Seahawks. Two to one, yep, same here. I'm going to agree and go Seattle Seahawks to win the division. The NFC West, Seattle Seahawks. We're both agreeing. All right, moving on to the NFC South. This is going to be a good one. Saints minus 110 to win the NFC South. Buccaneers plus 160. Falcons 6 to 1. Panthers 20 to 1. Um, let's talk about the Panthers first. Obviously, the Panthers, I'm going to say this. The Panthers bring in Teddy Bridgewater, which I respect. He's a great quarterback. Hold on. Did that just go off? Hold on. No, it didn't. All right. Sorry, someone was calling. Um, all right, so the Panthers, I don't think they're – they have no defense. I really don't think this team's going to really do much. Um, I like Teddy Bridgewater, but he's coming in, and he really doesn't have anybody except for McCaffrey. Uh, I think McCaffrey's a hell of a, a running back, but who else do they have? Who do they have to throw to? What do you think about this team? I like – I'll tell you what, I think these two guys can emerge. Robbie Anderson's a great deep threat. So is DJ Moore. Yeah. I think those two guys could produce some. But they lost Greg Olson. He's always a reliable tight end. I don't think they have much of tight end anymore. They don't really have much of anything, man. I checked this roster. Teddy Bridgewater, is he, a, is he an elite quarterback? Is he a guy that you can see taking them to the Super Bowl? I just don't see it. Never. Never. He's a he's a good scram. He's gonna need to scramble because that offensive line is not gonna protect him, and I think the Panthers are screwed. I I say five and eleven, and I, I don't even see Bridgewater finishing out the season. I do like some of their young players on defense. Shaq Thompson, a linebacker, and then Trey Boston. This, they're starting to build I do their like defense Boston. again. <laughs> yeah, I do like Boston. He, he's a free safety, right? Yeah, he's good. Yeah, yeah, boss Trey Boston. That's right. Um, you say five and eleven, also. Yeah, I don't see them winning much over five games. What happened to Allen? Wasn't he the quarterback? What happened to him? I don't know where Allen went. I don't either. I'm not for sure. There's so many Allens in the NFL. Yeah. I know there's an Allen on the Bills. There's an Allen. I don't know where he went though. Maybe he's not in the league anymore. But he did good. He did good taking over for Cam Newton. I thought. Uh, he did very good last year, and that's considering they didn't have much offensively. Exactly. Um, okay, so then let's move on to the Atlanta Falcons. This team, for me, is Matty Ice. Uh, they just, every year, they're just disappointing. I don't trust their defense. Their offense is always good, but they're in the wrong division once again. Another team that's in the wrong division. Do you think the Falcons are going to do anything, make any noise this year? Um... Here's my – I love their offense, Chris. I just – they added Todd Gurley. I know. Well. They, I know. And they got Calvin Ridley yep. and Julio Jones. they still good at receiving. Exactly, yep. Um, it's no defense. Defensively, I, I don't want to – this is going to be hard to predict this team because they're just – they're so – at times they'll have years where they go 12 and 4, 11 and 5, and they're contending with what they got. And then there's years like last year when they were supposed to contend, they didn't do nothing. So exactly. It's hard to predict this team. Like, if I'm going to predict this team, I'm probably going to go 8 and 8, 9 and 7 at the most. I'm going to go 6 and 10. But you could, you're could. you probably closer You're probably closer to the number than I am, but I'm just going to say that they're going to go 6 and 10. I don't see them competing with the Buccaneers. I don't see them competing with the Saints. And I think the Panthers might even beat them. I, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But I, I don't really think the Falcons are going to do much. I think uh, week one, I know the Seahawks coming into Atlanta. And I think that uh, the Seahawks are going to destroy them. And, and that's how the Atlanta Falcons are going to be this year. I think they're going to have a tough season. But that's just my opinion. They're good. They have some good defensive players. Deion Buchanan's a linebacker. They got Brady Jarrett, and then that rookie from Auburn, Marlon Davidson. So they did add some pieces in the off season, but I don't think it's enough for them to contend for the division. You know what? They should have. You know, we didn't even mention Coleman on the Forty ers uh, They should have not. They should have never got rid of him. Oh, he was a beast. He used to catch like there'd be games where like he would rush for like seventy five yards and have like a hundred yards receiving with like two touchdowns. Yeah, he was the beast on Atlanta. And Todd Gurley, I think uh we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. I don't know. He reminds me of uh Le'Veon Bell. 
to be honest with you. Going over to the Jets. He's just mediocre now, I, I think. We'll see what happens. So, moving on to, we'll go the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, obviously. Um, plus 160 to win this division. We already know who they have. They're stacking everybody. Uh, they got Sue on defense now. They got, they stacked their team. I looked at their roster. Uh, they got Gronkowski, and you know who they have. Mike Evans. What do you have to say about the Buccaneers? I love, uh, there's a guy you didn't, you didn't get the mention that one. My absolute beast, a receiver, man. Like who? You're talking about like Godwin. Oh, Godwin yeah. Godwin. Yep. Godwin, right? But they're good. Like, yeah, they're they're good. Like they could easily win the division. It just depends. Like they improved defensively too. They improved every which way you look at it. And bringing in and bringing in Gronkowski, man. I mean, you bring in Tom Brady, and they just. I just think they choke, though. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm gonna go on the limb and say they just still don't win a division. Oh, I'm, we're gonna we're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that. We're gonna talk about the division winners here in a second. But uh, they're much improved. We'll say I don't really. It, everybody's a front runner. Everybody's on the Buccaneers this year. Everybody loves Tom Brady. Everybody thinks he's just gonna come in and just win a Super Bowl. I honestly hope they fail, just because Gronkowski's a douchebag, and uh, I think Tom Brady's an asshole, and I just hope they fail. I hope they fail. That's what I gotta say about that. Who do they have defensively? I'm not on that defensively. Maybe you could. They got. They brought in. They got Jason Pierre-Paul. Does he still only have four fingers? <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. They got. They don't really have much, man. Uh, Levante David. Uh, middle linebacker, nothing really in cornerback position. I was looking, free safety, Winfield, nothing really, man. Nothing really strong. Nothing really strong uh, on the you know defensive wise. I think they're just going to be pretty much mediocre. Let's talk about the team that's going. I think is going to win the division. I think the Saints are going to win the division. I think the Saints are stacked on offense. And I think their defense needed improvement, and I think they got the improvements. What do you think about the Saints? Kamara's a beast, man. I love Alvin Kamara. He's one of my favorite running backs in the league, only because he's so versatile, Chris, and he like he's a great pass receiver out of the backfield too. Breeze uses him really well. Yep. And they have Michael Thomas is a great receiver. Michael Thomas is what is top Emmanuel, five receiver in the league. Emmanuel Sanders is still solid in yep. the slot. Yep. They're tough. They're good defensively too. I see the Saints going twelve and four this year. I can I can say that I think they're going to do better than that. I think they're going to go thirteen and three. I think they're going to have, get home field throughout. There's a there's another team they're going to have to compete with for that home field. We'll talk about them in a second. But I think the Saints are the team to beat in the NFC. I'm going to go minus one ten to win the division NFC South. I think they're stacked on offense. They're going to be hard to stop. They're like the the Kansas City Chiefs version of, of the AFC. I think the offense for the Saints is just like them. Uh, that powerful, and the defense is much improved. So I'm going Saints minus one ten. Who do you like in that in this division? Uh, Saints went it at thirteen and three. I think the Bucks go ten and six. And a guy we forgot to mention on the Bucks, they uh, Leonard Fournette joined the Buccaneers as well. Did he really? I didn't know that Leonard Fournette, huh? So they're gonna have Ronald Jones and Leonard Fournette. They're gonna have a good running game too. Oh yeah, Ronald Jones from USC, huh? Oh yeah, man, yeah. yeah. You know, I that's what I'm saying. The Buccaneers got a stacked team. But I just hope they fail. It's gonna be a hell. Of, it's gonna be a hell of a division to watch. You know. I think. Uh, you take the Bucks to win in five. Huh? You're gonna give the Bucks eleven wins. Oh yeah, eleven and five. Yeah, I think they'll make the playoffs. I don't think they're gonna win the division though. I can't wait for the Saints to smash the Buccaneers week one. We're gonna talk about that on Wednesday night. By the way. So we're going. I'm going Saints minus one ten to win the division, and you're going Saints. Saints. Sounds good. I'll talk about them. All right. So we're uh, all, uh we're going to the NFC North now division. Uh, we got Green Bay Packers plus one eighty, Vikings plus one eighty, Bears plus five hundred five to one, and the Lions four to one. The Lions are more. The Lions are favored more than the Bears to win the division. What do you think about that one? I 
just the Bears. They're one of those teams. I personally think I, I would start Nick Foles. That's just me. Mm-hmm. But yeah, they're not going to though. This team's not going to win. But Trubisky not going to win a lot of games. But they. The sad thing is the Bears got good running backs. Tariq Cohen's a very good player, and so is David Montgomery. Yep. And their receivers aren't bad. They have Anthony Miller, Allen Robinson, and Ted Ginn Jr. And, and Cordell Patterson. They got Patterson too. The yeah, pro- the problem the problem with the Bears is their coaching. I don't think the coach has a clue. And secondly, uh, I don't think that their offensive line is going to protect Trubisky. And when he gets pressured, he likes to throw interceptions. And I know Nick Foles could be the answer, but I don't think Nick Foles can take the Bears anywhere. Uh, my opinion, I checked the roster, I, the defense, the offense. I have the Bears going. Where is it? Uh, I have the Bears going six and ten. What do you think? I still like their defense. I like Kyle Fuller and, Ron, and Khalil Mack. They're very good. So oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think, I think the Bears go 8-8. Eight eight. Mac is a beast, man. The Vegas Raiders should have never got rid of him. He's one of the best. They got Eddie Jackson and Deion Bush. And those guys are pretty good defensively. Yeah, they got Jimmy Graham, too, for to, on the tight end. Yeah, so. they won eight games. Yeah, Don, my brother Don, big Bears fan, man. He's pissed off because I do like the Lions to beat the Bears week one. And uh, he thinks the Bears are going to go to the playoffs this year and do something. He really, But he says that every year about his team. You know, when, you're, you know, when you, your team you – everybody talks good about their teams, you know what I mean? But does he really think the Bears have, have a chance to make the playoffs? Do you think they have a chance to make the playoffs, honestly, in this division? I think they'll miss it. I think they'll go 8-8 eight eight miss the playoffs. Exactly. Let's talk about the Lions. Safford coming in or been there for a while. Um, what do you think about the Lions, man? Every year they're so unpredictable what the Lions are going to do, and they never seem to do anything. That's just the Detroit Lions. What do you think? I like their. I still like their offense. They got uh, they got J- Johnson and uh, they got Swift now, the rookie from Georgia. Yeah. They got Kenny Galladay and Marvin Jones Jr. on the outside receiver. They got some good weapons. Their thing, I don't think they have much of a defense, Chris. No, they don't, they have no defense. But yeah, DeAndre Swift from Georgia, man, he is he is a good player. That's for damn sure. He can make some Trey noise. Flowers. He's good. Trey Flowers on the defensive line, he's good. And then they have, you know, linebackers. I mean, Reggie Ragland's a good linebacker. They got him from the 49ers. And then they got Okwada, the rookie from... Uh, Ohio State and Desmond Trufant, they're really good lockdown corners, so they they have picked up some defensive players. Yeah, but the problem with the Lions is always their defense, man. They can't outscore their opponents usually. And they, Stafford, man, he hasn't shown that he's an elite quarterback. He hasn't play, you know, won playoff games. He's just not. He just, you know, he's just not that good. I don't think. I'm gonna say Lions seven and nine. Yeah, I agree. Seven to nine for Detroit. Now let's talk about the two teams in the division that one of them is going to win it. You just got to try to figure out is Kirk Cousins going to man up and be the guy that everyone thought he was going to be and come here and take the Vikings to a Super Bowl, or is he going to be a, a pretty much a little bitch like he has been? Uh, what do you think about the Vikings? The Vikings lost a lot in the off season, Chris. I it's hard to say with them. Um, Dalvin Cook's a great running back. I love Dalvin Cook. Yeah. I just think they lost too much defensively. Like, honestly, like, they lost Everson Griffin on defense. They lost a couple of corners. I don't think they're going to be able to replace what they lost. I agree. And, uh, yeah, they got a hell of a good running back. I'll tell you that. But, um, who is, yeah, De- uh, Dalvin Cook, right? From Florida State, yeah. Yeah. Um, Vikings are a hard team to figure out, to be honest with you, man. Kirk Cousins is such a good quarterback when he wants to be. He's an elite quarterback when he wants to be. But, ah, oh, man, I what I put? I have the uh, the Vikings. I went over the rosters. Let me see here. I have the Vikings going. I do have them going ten and six this year. Yeah, I like Anthony Barr and uh, Eric Kendricks, the two linebackers. Oh yeah. Anderson, they got good. Yeah, my cousin Anthony Barr. Yeah. 
He's not really my cousin. But yeah, I, I hear you on that. Their defense is not as good as it, you know it was in the past. I, I don't know, man. The Vikings confuse the shit out of me. I don't have them winning this division. I have the Packers. Let's talk about the Packers. Um, I think the Packers. I have the Packers going eleven and five or twelve and four. I think the Packers much improved on defense. What do you think about the Packers? I want to hear your opinion first. I think they lost two. Their linebacking core took a hit in the offseason. They lost. They lost Blake Martinez. And they lost another linebacker. Their linebacking crew took a hit. Yeah, I'm looking right now. And then Rodgers will have the weapons he used to have. Period. Yeah, but uh, what Alexander, cornerback, you know who I'm talking about? They got King, they got Jackson. I mean, I hear what you're saying, but the Packers are playing in a weak division. I think the Bear, they're definitely better than the Bears and the Lions. The Vikings are... One of those teams you just can't. Fi- I can't figure out. Um, I think the Packers' offense is elite, and I'm going Packers to win this division. I mean, who do you like in this one? Green Bay still. Green Bay. I think Green Bay wins the division by one game over the Vikings. And that game, that first game, Packers at Vikings. Man, I can't figure it out because are we going to see the Vikings coming out legitimate, playing strong, home field, or are we going to watch the Packers just destroy them? Uh, we'll have to wait and you see, know, but Chris Adam Thielen, he's a great receiver for the Vikings. And that's the only thing the Vikings have for receiver. That's the only player they have. And then the Packers have a good running back. Aaron Jones is solid. Um, oh yeah, definitely. But they don't, they don't have much of anything else besides Adams either. I know, but they got Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, he's one of the best of all time. Yeah, and he's looking for another Super Bowl ring. And I think this team has what it takes to get to the playoffs and do something. They just got to win. Uh, they just got to get home field throughout. It's pretty much how it's going to work in the NFC. Pretty much everywhere. But um, I'm going uh, Packers plus 180 to win the division. What about you? I'm going to go Green Bay. Actually, I'm not going to even have them at 11 and 5. I'm going to. I'm going to go Green Bay and the Vikings at 10-6, and six, but Green Bay getting the tiebreaker and winning the division. Yeah, if Green Bay goes into Minnesota week one and beats them, I think they'll beat them in Green Bay also. it could be They both could be 10-6, and six, you're right. They're both pretty good, solid teams. We know the Bears and the Lions are not going to come out of that division, but I like the Packers plus 180, and you like the Packers plus 180. Let's keep going. Correct. For Allen, don't you? What? Allen, Allen went to the Redskins. Oh, did he? All right. Well, let's, let's talk about the NFC East right now. Okay, so uh, you got the Cowboys minus 120. You talking about Allen from uh, the Panthers? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Haskins got to win that job, I guess. Uh, Cowboys minus 120. Eagles plus 145. Giants 10 to 1. Uh, Washington Redskins or football team 16 to 1. I don't really have much to say about the Redskins or the Washington football team except for they're going to have a shitty season. We already know this. Haskins is not a good quarterback. I think he's going to, I don't think he has an offensive line that's going to protect him. Do the Redskins have a chance to win this division or the Washington football team? Zero. Zero chance. Zero chance, yeah. I do like, I, I like Tracy uh, McLaurin, their receiver. He's really good, but... I don't. Their defense has actually improved. Like I'll, I'll talk about their defense. Chase Young, um, Deron Payne. They got a good defensive line. They're going to be pretty legit on their defense. With Bostic, their linebacker, Anderson, their linebacker. They're pretty good on defensive side, but they. I don't think they have enough on the offense to score enough points to win games. I do like Reuben Foster. Anybody that comes from Alabama, man, I like. The wrong or, or Collins too. Oh yeah. So they got yeah the Redskins. I I don't man, I don't know man. I'm thinking three and twelve or three and thirteen or uh, four and twelve or something. This team just they lost they lost their name. They lost it. I think they're gonna lose. <laughs> I think they just lost their whole their whole existence because of this. You know. They're gonna win. They'll win four games. I think they go four and twelve. Well, if they beat the Giants twice, they have a chance at four wins. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about the Giants. Daniel Jones, is he the answer? Is he the guy to take over for Eli Manning and go win a Super Bowl? The Giants will take the next step this year. I really think they're, uh, they picked up a couple linebackers. They, Blake Martinez, 
Green Bay he came on over in the offseason to them. Yep. I like Golden Tate. I do. I, I like uh, Barkley. You know, I think the Giants have a good offense. Um, but they're playing in a division where the Eagles and the Cowboys are going to come out of this division like usual. Um, the Giants, I don't. I see them improving like you said. Uh, let's see. I have the Giants. What record do I have the Giants at? I'm gonna go. What I go? Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna give them. I'm gonna go six and ten for the Giants. Seven and nine. Oh, they got some good. They got Sterling Shepard and Darius Slade too. They got some good receivers. Evan Ingram is their tight end. Yeah, I see. They good. They got a good offense, but their defense. I don't think. I think their defense is suspect. To be honest with you. They got better. They picked up Marcus Golden. Uh, they've got Dexter Lawrence and uh, Tomlinson. They're they're Blake Martinez. They're not bad back there. Yeah. Logan Ryan got him from the Titans. Well, I'll say seven and nine. Seven and nine, definitely. All right, let's talk about the Philadelphia Eagles. I hate them. I hate them too. <laughs> <laughs> Can Wentz get through a season without, like, a full season? Can he get through a full season? Nah, it's not happening. He never does. <laughs> he never does. Is Jalen Hurts going to be the quarterback for the Eagles in the future? You know what's funny? Here's what I think where, where we could be in trouble in our division is that Jalen Hurts, he's a very versatile quarterback. He can come in and cause a lot of problems. They've got a really good running back that's going to, he's a rookie, Miles Sanders. Yep. And I like I still like Deshaun Jackson and Alshon Jeffrey. If he shows up, he's he's still decent. Their tight ends, their tight ends are very good. Zach Ertz and Dallas Goddard, they oh, got yeah. great tight ends. You know what, Jeffrey and Jackson, man, those are two good wide receivers right there. I'd love to have Deshaun Jackson. I wish Deshaun Jackson could could have came to the Cowboys, uh, all the teams he went to, and he he went to the Redskins, and I wish he would have came to the Cowboys. I don't know why Tampa Bay got rid of him. He would have been good. With Tom Brady, I think so. Their defense is good, though. They have uh, Fletcher Cox, Malik Jackson, yep. um, Derek Barnett, Brandon Graham. Their defense is loaded, too. Yeah, they Fletcher Cox. Corners. Yeah, Fletcher Cox, man. Huh? Lonnie McLeod, Jalen Bills. They got good corners. Oh, yeah. The, the team, yeah. I mean, we have to. we're Cowboys fans. We have to deal with this team every year. Um, I hated it when they won the Super Bowl a couple of years ago. It killed me. Um, I don't really have anything positive to say about the Eagles. I don't like them. I'm kind of biased here. Uh, do you have the Eagles winning this division? No, I have them going 11 and 5 though and making the playoffs. Yep. Uh, let me see here. I have them going. Ten and six. I have them going 10 and 6 or 11 and 5. Yeah. Same thing. All right, let's talk. Let's stop talking about. Let's talk about the team, the best team in the NFC. Dallas Cowboys. I'll let you go first. What do you have to say about the Cowboys? Uh, I'll start with their offensive line. You know, Tyrone Smith, uh, Zach Martin. You know how our offense, our team rolls with our offensive line. It always has. Yep. They have very good our team on an offensive line. As Man. long as I've known the Cowboys, he's, he's built their team on offensive line. We have a top five quarterback, or I'd say top, yeah, I'd say probably like top ten quarterback. We have top five wide receiver, Amari Cooper. Top five, top three running back, Ezekiel. Um, our defense is loaded. Our defense, our offensive line is loaded. Our team's stacked. What do you think? I think C.D. Lamb is coming in. Um, what, do you, what do you think about the Cowboys? Because I, I have high expectations. I always do. But I think that they win 12 games this year, possibly 13. What do you think? We took in a hit, Chris. Like, we already lost Sean Lee for three games this year. Like, I've already heard but he, the injury news. But, but he's playing, though. He'll be playing, right? Yeah, after the third game. And yeah. then we added uh, Andre Poe from the uh, – who was that team? Uh, the Panthers? Yep. We added him in the season. Alden Smith got himself out of trouble. Yep. And now we got Randy Gregory who's got himself out of trouble. Jalen Smith, man. He's a player. He's filthy, buddy. He's filthy. Him and Vanderesh. <laughs> yeah. We have good corners, too. We have good corners. 
We have a good team. Our corners are young. They uh, are. Uh, and Lewis and yeah. Lopez, Brown. Yeah, they are young. Yeah, you're, you're right. But they're good. They're talented. And we added uh, Trayvon Diggs in Alabama. He's a rookie. Yep. And Xavier Woods on defense. The other Xavier Mike Woods. We got that good kicker from the Rams. Zerline. Yeah, I know. Yeah, uh, Legatron. Yeah. yeah, he's good. It sucks we got rid of Clinton Dix. What happened there? Well, here's the here's the thing I'm hearing about that thing. Is they're going to try to pull in Earl Thomas. They're really... I heard big-time talks about trying to pull in Earl Thomas. They're getting serious about it, too. You know what? I think... Uh, somebody because we have nobody at the safety position. I think Greg Zerline's going to be one of the best kickers we've ever had on you know on our team. I know Bailey was pretty oh, yeah. good, but Zerline is a hell of a good field goal kicker. We just got to get past the Packers. That's our nemesis every year. Yeah, the damn. Pa- it was a catch, man. Des Bryant caught that ball. Oh, that one in in the cold in January when we played that playoff game in fourteen. Yeah, we should have won that one. And then I was at that game in sixteen when we lost in Dallas. Yeah, yeah, the Packers are definitely. Um, so I'm gonna go Cowboys minus one twenty to win the division. What do you think? I think you're gonna agree with that, right? I agree. What do you think about our backup, Andy Dalton? Pretty good uh, backup, huh? Yeah, but I hope I don't see him on the field unless we're blowing someone out. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't want to see Andy Dalton playing this year, to be honest with you. Um, I but, like eleven and five or twelve and four. We have a pretty brutal schedule. We that includes the Ravens. I know. I saw. <laughs> Who's our uh, offensive coordinator? Is it <laughs> is it still Boise State? Uh, what's his name? Kevin Moore. Yes. Yeah. See, I like him. And then we got yeah, the Pat. We got the. Guy. Oh, we got McCarthy. He's our he's our coach, right? McCarthy's our coach, and then we added that rookie receiver. Uh, I want Michael Gallup as a oh, as a like definitely. A, and CD Lamb. Definitely, yeah. We got a stacked team, man. All we know is we got to beat the Eagles. That's all I care about usually, and uh, we should have no problems beating the Giants and the Redskins, and we should have no problem winning this division. Honestly, that's our. You know, we have high expectations. We honestly should be going to the Super Bowl this year. Um, that's my expectations. That's Dak Prescott. We're paying him all that money, and he hasn't done shit. Uh, I think that money is more motivation to do something. What do you think? It is. It's honestly, even though I'm a Cowboys fan, Chris, I, I just, I don't know if we can get past the Saints. Oh, the 49ers. <laughs> well, we're going to get into that here in a second. Yeah, here. <laughs> so, yeah, we're both going to agree that the Cowboys will win this division, right? Absolutely. Perfect. All right, so we picked our division winners for the NFC. Now we got to talk about I got two picks and Jake's got two picks. Jake, who are your two teams, which I think we're going to be on the same page here for the NFC. Who are your two teams? Seattle and Cowboys. Ooh, you like Seattle over the Saints? I do. Nice, nice. Um, I'm going to go Cowboys and Saints because... Yeah, who's your number three and number four? Saints, number three. Uh, Bucks, number four. Yeah, the Bucks. No, Packers, number four. Okay, Packers. Yeah, I'm going to go uh, number three for me is going to be the Packers. And number four is probably going to be uh, it's going to be the Seahawks or the 49ers. I'm going to go Seahawks for my number four. But uh, my number one and number two, Seahawks. Uh, Saints and Cowboys, and you're number one, number two, Cowboys and Seahawks. So who do you realistically want or think is going to win the NFC championship? Realistically, probably the Saints. I'm right there with you, especially if the Saints get home filled throughout, which... If we get home filled, it could be a different story. Exactly. So let's check the Saints to win the Super Bowl right now. The Saints to win the Super Bowl, right here, um, eleven to one. The Cowboys to win the Super Bowl, fourteen to one. So, are you saying that your pick to be in the Super Bowl is going to be the Ravens and the Saints? You know what? <laughs> Gosh, 
gosh, that's hard for me because I I think Dallas has got the team to do it. I, I know. Just don't know. I know. Like I'll be on the limb. It's either going to be Ravens Saints or Ravens Cowboys. All right, I'm going to say the same thing. I'm going to say Ravens versus Saints. Right now you can get the Ravens versus the Saints on five dimes at plus 2500 So if you put up $100, you'll win $2,500 if the Ravens play the Saints in the Super Bowl. If the Ravens play the Buccaneers, we're not going to... Okay, so Ravens and Cowboys is 35 to 1 So it would be $100 to win 3500 if the Ravens play the Cowboys. I'm definitely making that bet. Jake, you should probably throw some money on that. Because I think it's going to be the Ravens and the Cowboys or the Ravens and the Saints. I think the Ravens get in there. I think the Ravens beat the Chiefs and get in there. Oh, yeah. So yeah, my, I'm looking forward to watching Lamar Jackson Sunday. I don't know who they're playing, but they're playing the Browns. Not yep, they are. Uh, so who is your Super Bowl champion? You only Ravens. got one pick. One pick. Ravens. All right, I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm going to go Saints to win the Super Bowl. I hate doing it, um, but I'm going to go Saints. I love my Cowboys. I hope my Cowboys get there, uh, but I'm going Saints to win the Super Bowl, and you're going Ravens to win the Super Bowl. I think it's going to be Ravens versus Saints. I think it's going to be an awesome Super Bowl if it is, and I appreciate you coming on. Jake, we're going to do, every Wednesday, we're going to do a preview of the NFL week coming up, correct? And you're going to give out picks every week with me? Absolutely. I'm going to give out my definite pick, which means I'll tell the viewers to listen to us. I'm going to be giving out a pick of who I definitely 100% for sure is going to win. Hell yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, we're going to do that. We'll t- I'll talk about, yeah, so your number one play, and then some. we'll talk about all the games. We'll talk about all that good stuff. So I appreciate you coming on, Jake. You're uh, pretty awesome, and uh, hopefully these predictions will help out everybody that's that listened in. Thanks, Chris. I appreciate you, buddy. Appreciate you.